Oh my god, it's fucking freezing. Good morning, ladies and gentles. I hope you're doing very well. Uh, making a YouTube video in January is like pissing in the wind. <laughs> there's just there's just no views and no revenue. But I do like to talk shit and I do like to have a little bit of drama in my life. Not really, I actually actively avoid drama, but I like reporting the news. So we're going to talk about AI. Yes. Uh, the last video I made, I said, please be civil in the chat. And it was like, oh, that worked well. <laughs> so yesterday, short and long version is uh, Framestore are recruiting an AI artist, a generative AI artist. Is this a good or a bad thing? I, I have no idea, to be honest. Uh, it's another job, but is somebody else losing out in that job? Uh, and this is where I think the community... There's a lot of kind of gatekeepers at the moment. There's a lot of art police, uh, people policing art. And I think, like I said the last time, I know a lot of kind of AI artists, or I sit in a Discord group with one nearly every night and we play Rocket League. They're not bad people. <laughs> you know what I mean? People treat them like they're fucking Satan. But anyway, Framestore, they're looking for a generative AI artist. A VFX studio started posting jobs open for generative art. We need legislation to protect artists. Yeah, because that's all we fucking need is laws. <laughs> oh man, you're going back to Vatican times here. So there is quite a few comments here. Some of them are valid and some of them are fucking... Uh, they're just... You're downplaying it. Apology says AI artist, but the job posting says generative AI artist. So... This basically forced Framestore to come out and give a statement. Should companies have to bend the knee every time that they make a job posting for AI? Especially in the art scene. And I think this is what people need to start to consider. Do they just scrap using AI altogether? They're not going to. No chance. And if you don't know who Framestore are, they're basically one of the biggest VFX houses in United Kingdom. They're actually a fantastic company. I know a few artists who work for them. I'd like to maybe get one on and interview them, but no chance of that happening because they probably like their job. So I'll read this statement from Framestore, I'll let you come up with your own opinion. Yesterday, one of our job postings for an AI artist caused some concern among our community. While this project is confidential because it will be under NDA, the new hire will work in collaboration with an illustrator on a campaign for a good cause. Right, so... It's essentially two artists, so they might get the illustrator to do stuff and then they might run it through a generative AI program. We will commission an original piece for art. So basically Framestore, are, they're bending the knee here and saying, look, we're going to hire some artists. So I kind of get what they're doing. They're probably having like this illustration and it'll move into AI. Plus the training of private bespoke models and extensions, which in turn will be driven from an original footage of the shoot. I don't know why they're explaining this. I think they're trying to kind of kind of trying to put out the flames a little bit we've been open about our views on ai we've gave interviews stuff like this our use primarily revolves around facilitating human creativity helping out teams of artists to get faster results we believe ai can aid artists work enabling them to do more and that they love and this is this is what personally i find if you can bring ai yes you'll save money trust me i would love to be able to save four, five, six, seven hours a day so I can spend it with the kids rather than fucking this mundane task of being a 3D artist. Now, I love being a 3D artist, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it's a bit of a bitch, let's be honest. So, we remain committed to the artists who work for us and to combining talent with technology to advance the arts of storytelling. And I think this is, I think this is actually quite true. Uh, at the end of the day, we're just telling a story. So I'll read a couple. Of, I'll read a couple of comments. Uh, you can pick what ones you like best. Poor show, bad move. Uh, fucking well done, mate. That narrowed it right down. Eh? It's great to take your community feedback into account, but it's no surprise that you're exploring generative AI. It's not. So they've got a few sicky faces. Here. Let me know if I can help. More controllability in AI is the winning formula. Yeah. Great to see you embracing the future with mixed generative workflows. There seems to be a kind of strange balance sort of at the moment. You're downplaying it. This apology says AI artist, but the job says generative AI artist. <sighs> You're never going to win in this situation, to be honest. <laughs> I did like this post, but AI cause faster. 
<laughs> do me a favour, guys. You know what to do. Take care. Ciao.